Hello, my name is Chris. I've started a little business making and selling dog biscuits. And if your dog would like to try them and get your dog to win me on with a wolf, or email me at chrisdogtrees at gmail.com. Or you can buy them down at the World Pier Cafe in Parkland's Bear Block. Chris is kind and fancy! How much is that doggy in the window? The one with the and part of the relationship that a showmaker's sponsor has is that they get an ad, which is the op opportunity to promote what they do and show that they're in support. So Chris has made his own advertisement for Chris's Canine Crunchies, letting people know what the product is, that it's all handmade by Chris himself, mm -hmm. and where they can buy them. Okay, let's get into it. So he's already a man who has a passion for music and he's created a show which is a half hour called My Kind of Music and he introduces the artists and their songs of the music that he loves. Good afternoon and welcome once again to My Kind of Music. This time we're going to play the songs from the live band by playing a Mary Dow song called As Time Goes By. Must remember this a kiss is still a kiss. A sign. Let's get to give you the idea. I always love dogs. Yeah. But I'm always nervous around them. Right. So I thought that if I started making dog biscuits and that to get me used to the dogs, I won't be afraid of them anymore. Fantastic. And has it worked like that, Chris? Not yet, but Not yet. I hope it would stand with him. Yes. <laughs> he's got a disability. It's not that he's any less capable of worker, but he is up against a lot of employers' preconceptions about what people with disabilities are capable of. Whereas if he starts his own business, then he's the one in control. He knows he has a job. But whether it's my business or I should be... Doing it myself. As long as he wants one, he's the one dictating the actions. Yep, what I've got in them are peanut butter, no salt or preservatives, one oat and homemade flour. And just has more control over his future by being self-employed. We're not dog owners ourselves, so we um, devised a questionnaire and gave samples with the questionnaire to all our friends who had dogs to get some feedback see whether the product was acceptable to the dogs. It means that I can cook more often because I, that's what I love to do. Yeah. And I really love doing the business because it gives me something to do when I'm not busy in that. And people were really captured by the idea too as well as the product. They thought it was great. A friend of a friend um, gave me a set of dog cutters and a dog biscuit recipe that she had, you know. People came on board with the idea and were all very supportive. I just sat down at the computer for an afternoon playing around with different ideas. Chris would come over and give me feedback, tell me what he liked, what he didn't like. It's his business so he had overall control as to what we did and I just found some ideas he was happy with and we ran with them from there. I sell them at the SPCA. Yes. I sell them at the New Plymouth District Council. Yes. And I also have some, yeah, at the White Pear Cafe in Perkins Bar Block. So have you got any plans for what you'd like to do when you, with all the money that you make? Yes, I do have a plan. Get some kitchen appliances for when I go flatten. Really? You're going to buy kitchen appliances for when you go flatten? Yes. That's a great plan. Well, the initial setup costs um, was fifty dollars, and that covered the cost. Oh, we bought some um, bone-shaped dog cutters off the internet. That covered the cost of the cutters, the packaging materials, labelling materials, and ingredients. And Chris sort of um, repaid that within the first month from sales. 
he was able to interact with some of his customers, meet people face to face and essentially provide some personality behind the product. Mm. We found he was able to sell it really well in person because people were able to come along and meet the creator. Chris does the record keeping for the business too. He records all his um, expenditure in and expenditure out. Mm. And he also keeps a baking diary uh, where he records the, a date that they were baked and the batch number because that is one of the few regulations for pet food that you need to re keep a um, record of batch numbers and that. So he does all that record keeping and that's another skill he enjoys. I'd say far ahead. Um, I mean, as has been said before here, that um, if our family can do it, well, anyone can do it. Um, we're just an ordinary family. Any advice you've got, Chris? If they want to start their own business, just go for it and give it a go. Because what I did, I'm loving it. You must remember this. A kiss is still a kiss. A song is just a song.